Today I'm testing 10 different microphones with the GoPro Hero 11 to see which one is the best for vlogging. I'm currently using the Media Mod and up at Niagara Falls and it's fairly windy, so let's see how this goes. So this is the GoPro Media Mod. What do you think of the sound coming from the Media Mod? I do have the wind muff attached to the Media Mod at the minute. You can get this if you buy the GoPro Creator Combo and you also need it if you want to attach a microphone to your GoPro. This is what the GoPro sounds with the wind muff on the Media Muff off and you can see Niagara Falls in the background and it is quite loud already. The next microphone I'm trying out is the Rode Video Micro and as you can see the furry wind muff is in the shot. But I'm outside and it's quite windy. Well, it's not that windy, but I'm next to Niagara Falls, so it is quite noisy. Let me take the wind muff off and see if that makes any difference. What do you think of this? This is the Rode Video Micro with the wind muff off. Can you hear me? Because I am at Niagara Falls and the falls are pounding in the background. The only thing I don't like about this is the Rode Video Micro is quite shaky. Even more shaky when you're walking about and that's using the shock absorber. Let me know what you think of the sound with and without the wind muff in the comments. The next microphone I'm using is the Rode Video Mic Go 2. I really like this microphone. It's normally my go-to microphone because it's so useful. You can plug it into your laptop, use it as a podcast microphone and you can use it for vlogging. But the only thing I don't like about this when using it for the GoPro is it is quite big. It does draw probably quite a lot of attention. I'm currently using the foam cover. Um, what do you think of the audio? Can you hear the falls in the background just over there? What do you think? I'll switch to the wind muff in a second. And the annoying thing about that is you have to buy the wind muff separately. It doesn't come with the wind muff. Let me know what you think of the audio in the comments. Now I'm using the Rode Video Mic Go 2 with the furry wind cover. What do you think of this? Is the audio clear? Can you hear me? Can you hear the falls in the background? The only thing I don't like about this is it's a great microphone, but you can see this, you can see this, so it would ruin your shot. If you take it off and you use the foam one, you can still see a little bit of it. You could put it on the side or you could put it on a tripod on the bottom to move it out of the way, but I'm just using the top of it for convenience and to show you what it's like. Let me know what you think of the audio coming from this microphone. This is personally my go-to microphone for a lot of the things that I do, so I really do like it. So let me know what you think of the sound. Do you like the sound? Do you like how it sounds? I'm holding this microphone at around arm's length, so it's not too far away from me and probably would be perfect for a vlogging setup. This is the Movo VXR10, a small shotgun, a small compact shotgun microphone. Let me know what you think of the audio coming from this microphone. Another thing with this shotgun microphone is that you can see the wind muff if you put it on top of the GoPro. I'll move it to the side in a second to see if you can still see it, but let me know what you think of the audio. I'm using the furry wind cover at the minute. Is the audio clear? Can you hear the falls in the background? What do you think? It's quite small. It's smaller than the uh, Rode Video Mic Go 2. It's about the same size as the Rode Video Micro. I'll take the wind cover off. Let me hear, let me know if you can tell the difference. Let me know if it sounds better, if it sounds worse. Tell me what you think. And the wind cover off, the Movo VXR10. What do you think of the sound now? Can you still hear me clearly? One thing I do like about this um, shotgun microphone is it does have a uh, very good shock mount. When I move the camera and check it like this, the microphone isn't moving, which I quite like. That's pretty good. Let me know what you think of this. Is it a good sounding quality? Can you hear the falls in the background? I don't want to get too close to the falls because I didn't want to distort the audio, but let me know what you think. Can you hear it? Is it good? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll move it to the side as well to see what you think of the side view. Hang on. So even if you move it to the side with the furry wind cover on, you can still see the microphone here. You can still see it. So the best bet is probably to get a tripod that has a, uh, a cold shoe mount on the bottom and I'll show you a tripod which you can use. You could use the Ulanzi MT33, which is a great tripod and has a cold shoe mount on the side. So you can put that on the bottom. Next microphone I'm testing is the Boyer BYMM1. This is another shotgun microphone, as you can probably tell by the wind muff that's here pointing over the top. Back shotgun microphone, similar to the Rode Video Micro and similar to the Boyer VXR10 that I recently just used. This is a shotgun microphone with a furry wind cover attached to it. I'll take it off in a minute. What do you think of the sound? Can you hear the audio quality? What do you think? Is it good for vlogging? Can you hear the falls in the background? Can you hear me directly? Let me know what your thoughts. Do you like the sound of this microphone? I'll take the wind cover off. Someone just waved at me, which is fairly random. I've never had that happen before when I've been vlogging outside. Uh, I'll take it off in a second and let me know what you think. This is the Boyer MM1 without the wind cover on. What do you think of the audio? Do you think it sounds good? Let me know in the comments. I'm kind of walking and talking at the minute because I've moved because there's a speaker next to me. Let me know what you think. Do you think this is a good audio? Would you like this? Can you hear the falls in the background? Can you hear the wind? I've got the wind cover off. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you not? 
it's quite a cheap microphone it's not very expensive uh, what I'll do is I'll put all the prices of all the microphones that I'm using on the screen as and when I'm using them so you can tell how much they cost the next microphone I'm using is the Sennheiser MKE 200 I like this microphone because you can only see a tiny bit you can only see a tiny bit of the wind muff I'm using the furry wind muff at the minute what do you think do you like the sound of this microphone can you hear the falls in the background me can you hear me clearly the only thing that annoys me with this microphone but it's kind of a really good thing but at the same time slightly annoying is that you plug the the TRS cable into the front of the microphone so it can get in your shot like this and it can kind of be dangling so you have to position the wire so it's out of the way so it isn't in your shot you could attach it to the side and from there you could probably not see the the, uh, the furry wind muff you can't really see it that much at the minute I'm gonna take the wind muff off and then let me know what you think of the sound let me know if you like the audio with the wind muff on or let me know if you like the audio with the wind muff off do you like the sound this is creating is it creating a deep sound, a rich sound? What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. One of the good things about this microphone, the Sennheiser MKE200, is it has a built-in shock mount. So your microphone's not flippy flapping about all the time. It's built in so when you're walking, you don't have to worry about it flapping and pointing in the wrong direction. It's gonna always be pointing at you. Let me take the furry wind cover off and let me see what you think of the audio. This is the Sennheiser MKE200 with the furry wind cover off. What do you think? Does it sound as good? Can you hear the falls in the background? Is it noisy? Is it okay? I really like this microphone. I've recently just bought it. I'll put the price next to it. It's around £66. So I think that's around $80. I think it's quite good. It's a very small, very compact microphone. It might just become my go-to microphone if I like the sound of it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you think this is a nice microphone. I do one more shotgun microphone and then a wireless microphone, the Rode Wireless Me, and then two things the gopro itself and then the gopro just with a firm wind cover this is the boyer mm1w the thing about this microphone is it's a compact shotgun microphone from boyer but it has a wireless microphone that you can take on and off which is very weird it has three different modes it has the shotgun microphone only it has the wireless microphone only and it has a mix mode the mix mode is currently what i'm using with a wind muff on the shotgun microphone you can kind of see it a bit but it's not it's not a huge mic it's not a huge wind muff so it's a bit out of shot i'm not sure if mix mode is the best um it's picking up audio from here and picking up audio from here i'm not too sure if that sounds good or not let me know what you think i'll switch it to shotgun microphone only mode and i'll switch it to wireless microphone only mode now i'm on shotgun microphone only mode let me know what you think does this sound any good does it sound better than the previous audio can you hear the falls in the background can you hear me clearly what do you think of it it's a very small compact microphone but the price is similar to the sennheiser mke 200 which i'm not sure if the audio quality is going to be any good or not but i'm not really sure um for, for the price and um, maybe you just buy the road video might go too let me know what you think would you buy this or would you buy the sennheiser mke 200 let me know what you think if it's any good let me switch to the wireless microphone only and let me know what you think if, of that it's a strange concept and i've not seen it before i've only seen this recently and that's why i got it i thought well, i'll see what it's like and see if it's any good now i'll switch to the wireless receiver see if you can hear me clearly on that now i'm just using the wireless receiver can you hear me the audio is coming from here this microphone is more omnidirectional rather than a directional microphone so it should pick up the it should pick up my voice but i'm not sure i don't really know it could be good it could not be good let me know what you think in the comments the next microphone I'm using is the Rode Wireless Me. This is a wireless, uh, wireless lav this is a wireless lavalier microphone with automatic gain assist. I really like this microphone. Maybe it's not as good as the Rode Wireless Pro. I wish I could get that. Hopefully, I'll get that in the future because that has 32-bit float and that will be epic. But what do you think of this microphone? Can you hear me? Can you hear the falls in the background? The falls are just over there in the background. Is it clear? Do you like the sound of this? I'm kind of holding it around you know not that far from away from my mouth you could clip it onto the gopro or you could clip it onto your shirt and walk and talk with it but i kind of like to have it around this uh, this distance what do you think of the audio it's got the foam wind cover on do you think it sounds good this is really good because it doesn't show up on the gopro it does show up if you have it here you could put it in your shirt pocket you could put it in your shirt pocket to get it out of the way but i do like this microphone so it should be this microphone should give you really good audio no matter how you no matter what you're doing so it's a great microphone for beginners and it's also wireless 
the thing you have to remember is to charge the batteries. So that's kind of the, the, the disadvantage compared to a shock from a microphone where you just plug and play. But if you remember to charge it, then you're good to go. Right, let's move on to the final two microphones. One of the final ones I'm going to do is using a foam wind cover with the GoPro. What do you think of the sound? I'm about to pass a guy with a huge leaf blower, so it could sound horrendous, it could sound okay, it could sound bad. Let me know what you think of this sound. It's just a foam wind cover that I got from Temu and it was around £3, so it's ridiculously cheap to be honest. Let me know what you think of this sound. Boom, I've moved past the guy with the leaf blower. Let me know if that was absolutely garbage. Some people love this, it's just a little foam wind cover that costs £3 on Temu but you can get them for around £10 on Amazon. I'm going to take it off in a minute and give you the audio from the GoPro, which I think will be the worst audio possible. Let me know what you think. Now, I'm kind of walking and talking as I'm in a bit of a rush, but this is the audio from just the GoPro itself. I'm missing the side door because I was using the media mod and I left the side door in the hotel. Let me know what you think of this audio. It's a bit windy. I've moved away from the force kind of now. It's probably picking up the wind noise and everything else. Let me know if you think this is any good.